All right, good morning. Mm-hmm, good morning. Everyone out there. Guess what today is? Pack-up day. Check-out day. Terrible day. Get out of here day. Terrible. Not looking forward to it at all. Nope. Could you... What? Can you guess what's in this cup? <laughs> Let's this. look. Orange Maybe juice. <laughs> yellow, yellow orange juice? Yeah. That's my orange juice. Yeah, that's your orange juice, that's your coffee, that's everything. Terrible habit. It's your water. That yeah, lasted for about a day and a half. No, it did not. What? That was like a week. I don't know if it, we even made it a week. I, don't I could think do so. it for a week. I know you can, but I don't think you did. I think it was a week. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys inside this tent. And then we're going to take the tent down. Yeah and start packing up the place and as usual we'll probably drive around <laughs> drive around for a little bit before we head back maybe and, make a uh, time lapse yeah maybe make a time lapse and maybe next time we could spend five days up here Ooh, that would be good five days would be nice but until that time we'll go ahead and show you this tent and take Wrap it down it up. and uh see what's next all right what is this, an eight person or a 10 person? I can't remember. I can't remember either. But anyway, it's a- uh, Columbia. Columbia. Oh yeah, there it is. Columbia. Hey, let, me, let me tell them one thing about this tent real quick. All right, what? Now we bought this tent uh, when we were in between RVs, didn't really know what we wanted at the time. We figured we'd come up here in tent camp. But when we purchased this tent, these rails right here, on the inside yeah that she'll probably show you on the inside well a couple of them a couple of them snapped but yeah. when we called columbia i guess they already had uh, known about that situation they replaced them for free so if you ever have that issue and it's a new tent with columbia normally they will uh if you call them if you have a problem with them uh we haven't had a problem with the new ones i think they redesigned them yeah um so the new ones are are staying steady but nice ventilation Keeps it out of the rain. It's pretty nice. All right. All right, so it's a pretty good size. There are these center privacy curtains. This is what we were talking about, the AC. This one has two doors. That's another door. So that's just what we did. It has these little cup holders I don't think anybody used. It has this little like shelf thing. It also has this, which apparently none of the kids use. It's like another little, like bag storage, I guess. Let's open this window here so you guys can see. So you guys can actually like sleep on this side or on either side. And then the other side has got the mesh. As There's you can also, see, look how tall. Yeah. Pretty tall. Because how tall are you? Like Six um, foot. Almost six foot. Six foot. Yeah, so he's almost six foot tall. And there's still some space above his head show him the how the the door has a screen right here so there's plenty of ventilation this is on both sides yep the other door has the same thing same kind of zipper so really that's pretty nice and you showed him the divider 
Yep, I couldn't do it with one hand, but I was going to close it to show them how This does cover it. Uh, solid though, right? Yeah, here's the other side. In case anybody wants to know, we're showing you guys because we rarely put this thing up. So there's that. Also, this closes up to a solid wall. Yeah. So if you got boys and girls, they can have their own separate room. All right. All right. So basically, if you have boys or and girls, uh, you could have your own divider here, separate room. This actually comes up also solid. Can't see in it. And uh, you have one door right here, so you can use one door on the other side. Uh, yep. One door in and out. And you can literally have the girls on one end, the boys on another, or whichever. Adults and kids. We kind of used that side for the bedroom and had this side for like the living room or porch. Like we put all of our, what is it? Like chairs, we had chairs, chairs we had our, our clothes. Uh, we literally set, I think that cot up, because we used blow ups. We put that cot up and just used that to keep our clothes and stuff, our bags off the ground just in case but we normally you know this is you could set two chairs up here and just at least have air and stuff this is where the front room was and then the, of course the back room back there and yeah. we were totally fine with three of us yeah let's see you can see the wind blowing yeah especially if you have these side windows open too also yeah so <laughs> that's crazy i don't know we might have to reseal this because this is like we said it's an old tent and it looks like this one is out of it came undone or something oh yeah we might have to take care of that i don't know if it snapped it could have snapped because here's what it is right here but anyway it you, didn't poke through it so you sealed all these too with that glue stuff so yeah but now it's been so long it's been many many years when you're I mean, storing anything in florida the heat is a big problem yeah and we've had it so. out in the shed so all these uh i guess this the seams or whatever these things are are coming off but i think it's still good enough to use we'll just yeah. put a tarp over it Hey, the kids were comfortable. Yeah, the kids liked it. They were comfortable. It stayed cool in here. Yeah. But I could see in Florida right now, it's already hot. It's in early in the morning, and it's already hot in here. Without the AC. Without yeah, but the it's AC. not that bad. It's not that bad. Well, hopefully most people are at the parks or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're not spending the day here anyway inside a tent. Yeah, usually they're out and about, like, swimming or doing activities here at the fort but this would be i like this tent i'm glad we got this one yeah me too it's been a good tent yeah it really has and we're keeping it definitely because we never know we might emergency have emergency backup hey we might have to use it again soon you never know well let's show them in time lapse form how we put this thing take away. it down and it's pretty quick to take down once you do it it's pretty quick to put up too yeah well you know what i'm gonna have to do i'll tell you what i'm gonna do because not that way. Oh. <laughs> All right, so you know what I'm going to do, I think, when we get back home? What are you going to do? No promises on any time soon. But I'm going to make a video on how to put this thing together. You know why? Because I looked on YouTube, and there was not a single video on this particular tent. And we threw out the directions the instructions or whatever years ago so while he was working and Sierra was still in South Dakota I figured I'd build it you know just to see you know I like to do stuff before we actually get to the place to do it 
Yep. Just for future reference too. Yeah, what? We normally keep our, our directions to everything. Put it right in the bag with everything. I don't know why we didn't keep it this time. I don't know. But I'm also sure if you called Columbia, they'd send you something over. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that, but I needed but it right that day. Once you've done it, you pretty much get a, you, you'll start remembering. You'll she, remember. she did it by herself. I was working. So um, by herself is a, is a big deal for a tent this size. Yeah, she did it. Yeah. So she could do it. You can do it. For sure. For sure, definitely. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not even five foot tall. I'm like 4'11". So if I built this thing, you guys could do it too. It took a minute, but I did it. You're three foot nine. I'm not three foot nine. <laughs> All right, so it's time for the time lapse. Get ready for it. Here it goes.
All right, guys. So this ends another trip at the fort. Sad but true. Mm, I gotta go work tonight. Now we gotta go work so we can get back up here again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta go work so that we can come back up here. And show you guys more quality content. Or at least entertaining. At least entertaining, yeah. So we're gonna start heading back on the road and hopefully we'll see you guys next time right here. Hey, maybe we will see you here at the fort. You never at know when fort. we're gonna be here. Sometimes we don't plan it. Sometimes we just drive up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we For do a night. night. Sometimes we, there was a subscriber. No, oh, we were trying to get a hold By of By the him. way, we were trying to get a hold of you. We were gonna stop. We know you're in the 500 loop. We drove around there a couple of times because you wanted to say hi. We're sorry we missed you Yeah. on this trip. Yeah. And uh, maybe next time. Yeah, because sure. today's checkout day and we, we're staying a little later. We tried to drive around a few extra times to see if we spotted you, but he might be at a park or something. Could be. You're on vacation. Take advantage of it. Of course. Absolutely. So, all right, guys. We appreciate it again, as usual. And we'll see you next time. Yep. Maybe at the fort. Maybe. See ya.